What's going on guys? It's been a while since I've done another update video, but uh, we got some new toys to play with, finally, on Experimental 056 dispatches. Uh, you're looking at the UMP45. I think it's going to be a really good gun, uh, just because you can f you can fit a lot of really good, nice optics uh, on this gun. And it shoots a 45 caliber round, which is also a uh, nicely powerful round, so I think it'll be a very good gun to pick up. Next up, we got the Model 70, which is a little sniper rifle. Uh, it's supposed to be used with the uh, the hunting scope. It's a new scope in the in the game. Uh, it doesn't actually have the same amount of uh, zoom as the uh, long range scope. Uh, less zoom, and you can't actually zoom in whilst you're scoping either. So that's a drawback. Haven't found it yet, but uh, I'll, I'm sure you will see it in one of my videos soon. Uh, this gun used the same round as the Blaze, the 308 Winchester round, and uh, I think the, the iron sights actually look really, really good. So I think it's going to be a really, really good gun. Um, finally, we're getting some high power rifles in the game, which uh, should increase the. Uh, the fear that you feel as a player, uh, as you might die in any second, which was the thing in the mod. And uh, not so much in the standalone, really, but uh, it's getting there. Finally, the SVD Dragonov is in. We've seen it on a dev screen a while back in one of the dev blogs. Uh, but this was months ago, and uh, we've never actually seen it in game up until now. It, this one is featuring the Kashtan scope. It's a little um, uh, new scope used for the AK style rifles. So it fits on any AK except for the AK 74U and uh, on the Dragonov. It's a 2.4 or sorry, 2.8 times scope. So it's not as powerful as some of the other scopes, but uh, it's a really nice alternative to the iron sights. Next up, we have the IZH-18 rifle, which is a uh, breech-loading rifle. It only holds one round uh, every time you shoot it, so uh, it's not very, not very good. It might be a hunting rifle. It's basically a shittier version of the CR-527 rifle, uh, which is already in the game that actually holds a mag. Uh, this one does not. It does have really nice iron sights, however, so it's probably going to be used as a hunting rifle, or maybe you could take up players here and there, but for an actual PvP gun is not that great. Lastly, I just want to give a mention to uh, the new Namalsk map, which uh, was a rumor that it'll be uh, introduced into the standalone very, very soon, as the developers were actually working together with the original creator of the map, Namalsk, uh, which was featured in one of the, various, uh, the variations of the DayZ mod. Um, but I think it's going to actually make a whole lot of difference on the standalone, and I'll tell you why. Right now, the standalone suffers from really low player density compared to the mod. Like the the map has increased by 33%, but the player uh, the max player count has actually gone down. That results in everybody just staying on the coast just to find other people to play with, which leaves the north pretty much uh, deserted all the time, which is a really really big shame. But there's a reason for that. The loot distribution on the standalone side is not that great at the moment because all the buildings have to be tagged and uh, have to spawn different kinds of loot, especially with the new central economy loot system that has been in introduced in the new patch 056. They still need time to implement it fully and uh, make it working like it did on the mod. Which got me thinking, since uh, Nemalsk does not have the same layout as Chernaris does, you don't uh, spawn on the coast with shitty stuff and then you move inland to get better stuff. Plus, this map is a lot smaller than Chernaris is, so it should fix a whole lot of the player density issues and should to make the whole DayZ experience a lot more exciting to play. Now, a lot of you have been starting their Daisy experience on Daisy standalone, which is why I'm showing you guys this, because a lot of you guys, uh, I think, haven't, been, haven't seen this map yet, uh, which is a real shame, because it's such a sweet map to uh, to play Daisy on. Now, Namalsk is more of a military-style map that mo focuses more on PvP rather than survival, but it does actually uh, provide some really, really good gameplay. One of the more unique features of Namalsk was the underground base, which pretty much no other map uh, has done before when the, the mouse came out. Uh, this is the underground base as I'm showing you right now. You can go, you can go down here and basically uh, look around. There was loads of military loot around scattered on the floor here, which probably will be uh, distributed in some other way in standalone. But um, it looks really, really good. And uh, it always provided some really unique gameplay down here. Because people, since it's a really high um, military loot uh, area, so a lot of people would be camping this area 
or uh, is holding it down, waiting for people to come down the ladder. Loads of uh, interesting stuff. But with the items such as the hand grenade and the landmine from Daisy standalone, it should provide some really unique gameplay. And lastly, I want to talk about the sponsor of this video, which is Opinion Outpost. It's a little cool website where you're actually paid to give your opinion on, on stuff. So it's a really easy way to uh, make a few bucks on the side. And I definitely recommend you check it out with the link in the description. You can get paid out with money or with uh, gift vouchers to popular brands. So check it out. That's it for now, guys. I really hope that you uh, bring in uh, Namalsk soon on standalone and uh, hopefully 056 will uh, prove to fix most of the issues on 055, which was a really, really bad patch. But uh, that's it for now, guys. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Too close! Fucking idiot. Leave it in. Too close! Fucking twat, mate. Don't hurt me. I said a rough enough. I do not like your fucking. Yes, it's Russian! Idiot. What do you mean? Rusty, is what I said. Russian! Ugly prick. But don't hit me! What's going on here? Why are you slicing the skin off, man? I don't know! It's like worshipping Satan or something.